So today is the first Sunday of the month. Uh, it's a Thanksgiving Sunday. Everybody that go to our church, go thank God. Um, redeem to went to church. Pastor E. Adeboye preached a sermon, a sermon that has entered newspapers I'm talking to you. I've been looking for the video if anybody in the record I went in the talk, huh? but I don't see the video. According to the news reported by the punch, he said there's going to be a miracle. And very soon, one dollar is it going to be equal to one naira? Our economy will bounce back, bounce back. God is going to do a great thing. And usual, unusual miracles are going to happen in this country very soon. We are going to have a proper economy and our naira will bounce back. Listen to the news. The economy, naira will bounce back stronger than the dollar soon, says Pastor Adeboye, as reported by the Punch newspaper. The general overseer of Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has predicted the possibility of naira bouncing back and this time greater than the United States dollar. A correspondent reports that based on findings in the black market, buying rate of the dollar is about 9.15 and sales at 9.18. Sequel to the upward slide, businesses and the cost of living of Nigerians coupled with the fuel subsidy removal have been badly affected. Adeboye gave this prediction during the church monthly Thanksgiving service on Sunday, monitored by our correspondents with the September theme, Uncommon Miracles. According to the revered clergy, there was a period when Naira competed favorably with the United States dollar. He said the days when Naira will be stronger will come back. Those glorious days will return. When, the, when that happens, you will know. Adeboye noted that miracles connected something that is unique, stressing that a lot of times they may not be comprehensible by many. He explained how God granted him usual testimonies, some of which many people couldn't believe. Miracle is totally unusual. God can give you a miracle that will be difficult to share, Adeboye added. So basically, what that the Adeboye is saying is that um, a miracle is going to happen. And um, our dollar is going to bounce back, our naira is going to bounce back stronger. And he gave example of when naira was even bigger than a dollar. So I expect that kind of miracle to happen very soon. And um, I don't have a problem with that, but I got a question so that I won't ask because for our present now, for us to have a proper economy, we are not banking on miracle, amen? Is it a miracle that brought us this far? Was it a miracle that made it so bad for us? Because like he said, once upon a time, dollar was not up to naira. One naira before, big pass one dollar. Was it a miracle that carried us to the point when one, naira, when one dollar now is now almost one thousand naira? Or was it wrong economic decisions? If we had got to hear through wrong economic decision, how come we are banking on a miracle to solve the problem? We create problem with our hand. We define miracle we won't solve them. But uh, you know, there's nothing God cannot do. Let's look at the physical part of things. Let's analyze properly. The last time one naira was equal to one dollar was 1983-1984. At 1986, one dollar uh, is going to two naira. So as at 1983-1984, one naira was equal to one dollar. In fact, was not even up to one dollar was not even up to one naira. It was about 0 0.8 was about 80 comma. As of 1973, one dollar was 50 to 60 comma, which means if you had one naira, they will give you almost two dollars. Today you need to have 950 naira to get one dollar. How did we get this far? That time when it was like that, we have less churches in Nigeria. We also had less number of politicians. As politicians increase in number, as churches increase in number, our economy is dying in number. So the more we pray in church, the more our economy dies. If you read the Bible very clearly, you will see where the Bible told you faith without work is dead. So we moved more to faith and we reduced work. In Nigeria, they sell factories and convert it to churches. I can give you an example of some. They sell warehouses and convert it to churches. Then they go to the churches and pray for an economy to be good. Now you have killed what is supposed to help your economy. The countries who have proper economy, most of them don't even really know God. 
That's why you find that someone so your friend travel to London. He attendance in church go reduce because most of the things where you they pray to God for me give for Nigeria. God may not really give them there. Father, let them be light. He did it. Father, let me see money to pay hospital be the government will sort it out for you. You are paying insurance. Father, let me see house rent. You are working there, you will get house rent. But in Nigeria, you know there work. But you want to buy those rents. That's why we gather every Sunday to shout the more. Enter every street in this country, any street without a church change my name. There must be a church in every street. Sometimes church the opposite church. But I hardly see school where opposite school. You will not find a school in every street, but you will find a church. If we continue building more churches and having more politicians, forget it. 5,000 years, dollar will never ever become one never. This country is going to get worse if we continue where we go. So let me say it again. It's not a bad thing to go to church. As I see me, I'm just coming from church. I'm a worker in my church. But if we face it and we don't work it, we are going to get worse. It's the gospel truth.